We're ready to set up the delete part of our CRUD functionality. So when the user clicks on this delete button, it will remove this product. And we also have a delete button on this page as well, the individual product component page. So we need to get both of those buttons working. And we'll do like we did in the last several videos. Uh, we'll start with the actions. We'll set up three actions in this case. And then we'll set up reducer. Out of the action file, uh, we have some boilerplate code here already made for us. And this one right here is perfect. This is the first one what we'll need. And I'll just change the name over to components. We're going to be dispatching this uh, action from many different components. Components. And the rest looks great. The payload's going to be an ID, so that's fine. And uh, we'll need two more actions. This one I'm going to remove. We're not going to be deleting an array of products. So I'll get rid of this one. And then up here, we did something similar like a failure and a success. So I'll just copy this just to save some time and then paste it down here. And I'll replace all the ads with delete. Now this one's going to be dispatched from the effect file. So that's a perfect name for that. And then here, instead of a product, we'll be passing in an ID and that's going to be a string. And this is the uh, action we'll call when we're updating this store. Uh, so this is what we'll call from within our reducer. And this one looks perfect. And then this is uh, a payload of error of type of any. So that's what you want there. So this is how you want your actions to look. And I'll add a comment right here. And this is for deleting product. Now let's set up our reducers. Now we're ready to set up a couple reducers. One's going to be for the success. So if we successfully del delete a product, we'll have the store get updated for that. Then also if there's an error, we'll update the store with that as well. If we go back to our project and I'll save this and shut this down and open up the reducer. And we already have some boilerplate code for this, like uh, this right here. So we'll change that over. And then this one we, we can get rid of. I'll just remove that. So this one's going to be for our delete product success. And everything else is going to be exactly the same. We're going to use our adapter and use the remove one method, pass in the ID that we want to remove from the store, the product that we want to remove. And then let's set up for our error. And it's going to be almost, actually, it's going to be exactly like this. So another copy and paste. And I'll add it right here. And paste. And then change this to delete. And that's all we need to do for our reducer. So you want your reducer to look like this. So save this. Now we're ready to set up our effect file and start using our actions. So if we go back to our project and open up the effect file. And right at the bottom here, I'm going to paste another snippet. The reason is it's very similar to what we're already doing above. So I'll just paste it right here just to save some time. And then I already checked into this. This error, the reason I'm getting this is because I'm passing in a string and our service. If we go back to our service here, this is a number. So I need to change that over to string. And then that's it for that. That should take care of that error we're getting on the on the page here. So I shut this down and that's it for our error. So what we're doing is we're listening for the delete product action. And then when that kicks off, we uh, call our service, we delete the product. And then here we dispatch the delete product success. We pass in the ID. This later on removes the uh, product from our store. And then if there's any failures, we also dispatch an action for that. We save the error within our store if there's an error for that. That's pretty much it for our delete product effect. We can save this file and shut this down. And then now we're ready to set up our components. Now we're ready to set up our components. So what we'll want to work in two components, our individual product component and our list component. That's where we have our delete uh, actions or delete methods in. So if we go back into our project, open up the components and then the individual product TS file, and we'll need to work in there and the product list TS file. So uh, right here, I'm getting this error right here. And the reason is, is I changed the inside of the service. I changed it from a number to a string and I'll change this to a string. That's not going to hurt anything. 
And then here our effect file is handling this now. So we can get rid of this. And we'll just dispatch the action that we set up. So store, dispatch, and then the action was delete product. And it's gonna be this one. We wanna pass in the payload of the ID. Then I'll make sure I close it up correctly. Now, if you're pulling in a lot of different actions into your component, in this case, we're only pulling in two, but let's say you have like 10 of them or something, this could get pretty cluttery up here. So a better way of doing this is just by putting in a star like this, and then as, and you could call this anything you want, I'll call it like from actions. And then uh, you will have a whole list of different things you're pulling up in here. So just make sure you just come down here though and change these over. and change this. Okay, and then this I'll just copy and paste into the other one, it's exactly the same. Save this and jump over here. And this I will change over to a string as well. So a string, and then we get rid of all of this code now and just paste this one line of code in. I really like that a lot. And then here we'll do the exact same thing. Again, I'll just copy and paste. I'm a big fan of copying and pasting. So just copy this piece and jump back over here and replace this line right here. All right, that should take care of that error there. And then I'll make sure I add the from actions here. And that's pretty much it for setting up within our components. So let's restart the application. Let's test everything, make sure we're able to delete products then npm run dev. Okay, so let's see if we could delete products and then also we should get a bunch of actions here when we do this. So click the del delete uh, rustic steel tuna. So we dispatch the delete product and then uh, the delete product success. If we look at the state of our store, product two or the ID of two is gone. So that's a good sign. And then if we look at the difference between the the last one, as you can see right here, we removed one of our products, so that's good. Let's make sure our individual product component is working. And then we want to remove the awesome soft hat. That's a good name. And remove this. And that is working fine as well. And then if we look at the difference, product number three is gone. So our delete is working. And that is the end of this course. If you followed along from the beginning, uh, uh, thank you for that. And also don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. And I'll see you in the next course.